Welcome to The Journey. For weeks now, and no doubt for weeks to come, we cannot attend church. We cannot do our normal Sunday ritual. Some people have faithfully participated in church or Holy Mass online. But there is something that we need to think about. It is easy to fall into the trap of thinking that the holy or the sacred only happens in a church context. We could be tempted to think that we only encounter God in a very real way in the sacraments of the church. We do encounter God in the sacraments. They are tangible expressions of God. But we also encounter God in other places and through other experiences. We must not forget that all of our life and the life around us is infused with God's presence. And if we recognize God in the moments of our day, in the people we meet, in nature, these too become signs or sacraments of God's love for us. One of the things that we can do and could be helpful and grounding is to have moments in our day when we intentionally slow down and recognize God. Just as we would stop when making a road trip to look at the scenery around us, so too we can stop to look at our day and recognize how God is present. Some things can be done each day and become rituals that support us, a kind of scaffolding that hold us in a rhythm in this time when so much seems to have fallen apart. A ritual is something familiar and something comforting. There is so much at the moment which is unfamiliar and uncertain, so it helps to have something that is familiar, something that we do have control over. And there are many things that we can do. It could be lighting a candle, for example, at the start of our evening meal and saying a prayer, maybe even just being grateful for the gifts of that day. It could be slowly sipping a cup of coffee in the morning, feeling the warmth of that coffee, and just becoming aware of how God provides for you. It might be a game played with a little one at their bath time. I know someone, for example, who's six year old and the gran can't see each other at the moment in lockdown. And so they've developed a little ritual that every morning they send each other a message and a picture they have chosen and colored in for the other. And so for them, it's one of the joyful moments in their day in which they take delight in each other and also feel God's presence in a tangible way. It could also be something we do on a weekly basis. It could be, for example, calling a family member or a friend. I know someone as well who remembers that every Sunday their father would bake them some bread as a weekly ritual. It could be, for example, even something simple like putting flowers out on the dinner table on Sundays. Something that just helps us to get into a pattern of ritual. In this time of lockdown, we will probably face restrictions for a long time yet. And so I'm inviting you to think about the rituals that could be helpful to you and for your family or with whoever you are with at this time to make your day somehow always remind you that God is present. It should not be something burdensome, but rather something simple, something easy, something that is life-giving and can easily become part of the fabric of your day. Something that talks to you and talks to those around you reminding you of God's ever-caring love and presence. And so now, friends, this brings us to the end 
of this series, The Journey. It doesn't mean that it's the end, but rather the end of this series. And so next week, we will bring you something new. Stay tuned to find out.